Several years ago, I read a book by Mary, and I think the pronunciation is Kubica. I researched the name on Google, so I think it's Mary Kubica. Um, I read The Good Girl by, by this author, and um, I really enjoyed it. So when I was offered the chance to be part of a blog tour for her new book, The Other Misses, I jumped at it. Hope you're all doing well. As I said, I'm here to discuss The Other Misses by Mary Kubica. Um, and yeah, so let's just crack on. So The Other Misses is about sort of a, um, a messed up family dynamic. We've got a husband, a wife, and two kids. And the husband has cheated on his wife. And um, we have a wife who's bipolar and she is keeping many, many secrets as is always a good start to a novel like this. Um, she's keeping a lot of things inside and she's recently quit a job. We've got the husband, Will, who is a cheat and um, he's very flirty. But we also have the other missus, who is Camille, who Will was having an affair with. And she wants to get rid of the wife of the family, Sadie. She wants to replace her and she wants to become the new missus. So she manages to find the family and follow them. But the plot thickens when, as they arrive in their new town, their neighbour is murdered. And that opens a whole can of worms. This is another sort of unreliable narrator situation where we read one side of the story and we start to really believe their, their point of view, but then it switches and we start to question, do we believe what they originally said? Is this person lying? Um, and we jump back and forwards between the different points of view. As I've said before, I really enjoy books that have different points of view within them because I love that sort of mystery element where you're not quite sure what's going on and you sort of got to piece it together. That's all part of the fun for me and I really enjoy that in a thriller. This book to me was a bit like a roller coaster. It sort of builds up, you reach a little point in the middle and you're just sort of hanging around, um, waiting to see what's going to happen next and then you just tip all over the top and woof, off it goes. And I find myself just so desperately reading as I was getting near the end of it, I just wanted to know what had happened. Obviously this is a classic whodunit case where we desperately want to know who murdered the neighbour um, and with all the different points of view and the way that the story goes it keeps you guessing right till the end. I absolutely love the setting of this one, it's set in Maine and Will the husband has inherited a really old creepy house which just just adds to the vibe of general unease within the novel. He's inherited this house and he's also inherited sort of the care of his niece. His niece brings a new dimension to the whole thing because she is dealing with her own issues and she's very sort of surly, she's dealing with grief and that just adds a whole nother sort of element to the story that I like. Because like I say, everybody in this novel seems to be hiding something. Everybody in this novel seems to be bringing some sort of messed up family dynamic to this whole explosive book. This is a real book where you've really got to be absorbed in it because there is so much going on that you really need to be paying attention to what you're reading because if you try and skim read, you're going to get confused. I found this a really enjoyable read just to be able to switch off, put my feet up and just enjoy. It's been a while since I read a good twisty turny thriller and um, I can't say too much about it because I don't want to give away elements of the story, I really don't. You know my review style, you know that I like to keep things spoiler free unless I purposely tell you at the beginning that I'm going to spoil the book for you. So generally my reviews are spoiler free so I'm going to keep it that way and I'm not going to say much more apart from I really enjoyed it and um, I would love to know if you are going to read this book. Have you already read it or have you read any more of this author's work? If you have let me know and I will speak to you soon. Bye for now.